In order to support our show, we'll need the help of some great advertisers. And in order to find great advertisers, we'll need to learn a little bit more about you. Yes, you. Please go to podsurvey.com slash get dash Doug and take a quick anonymous survey that will help us get to know you a little better. That way we can show advertisers just how great our listeners are. Plus, once you've completed the survey, you can choose to enter for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Terms and conditions apply. Again, that's podsurvey.com slash G-E-T dash D-O-U-G. Thanks for your help. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Gracious Dogs Wiggle Happily. That was from Dan Douglas on Patreon. And that's what's happening if you're a member of the 420 Club, is you can get in something like that and a mention of your name. You can also get early access to our pre-taped episodes, exclusive access to our post-show doing Doug with Dabs. We'll send you a signed blue card and also give you access to the uh, pre-show live stream, which has uh, about five people watching it right now. (laughs) Make sure you become a 420 Club member on Patreon, patreon.com slash gettingdug. It helps to keep this show going, and we appreciate it. Another thing that helps keep me going is my live appearances. This Thursday night, I'm doing stand-up in Tampa at the Improv in Ybor City, March 6th through 10th. I'll be at sea with the Trailer Park Boys. Cabin's still available on that one, I think. And look for me doing shows at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. For all of my personal appearances info, Go to douglovesmovies.com and enjoy the show. Blast off. If you know me, you know that I like things both epic and nice. (laughs) And so I'm very excited to have Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd here in the basement. Yes. Hot crowd for you guys. It's a friendly place. Yeah, Yeah. really. All the regulars are here, the crew. Um, (laughs) Everybody that works here showed up today. We appreciate that. Appreciate you guys being here. and people, ooh, it's already 19 minutes after the hour somewhere, including here. So we got to we gotta get to smoking. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get to it right away. I'm sorry to rush you guys. No, it's fine. Is it bad I've been looking forward to this since I woke up at yeah. 5 in the morning? Oh, really? I you, haven't You didn't been. go ahead and wake and bake? You waited until now? I you did. Waited. I wanted it to be a fresh slice. You know, I appreciate it. Really it. Nice. Well, we got slices of lemon diesel as the sativa that we've loaded up in all of the... Uh, not all of them, but most of the pieces on the table. Okay. Um, <laughs> like this one here. You like this one? Oh, yeah. It's about that's my a size. a little one. Uh, and then we've got some Versace Indica, which is, that's an odd choice, Versace. Okay. Maybe that was his favorite. Uh, but. Uh, Could have been, maybe. Yeah, or maybe, you know, or maybe it's pronounced Versace, and it's a tribute to uh, the movie Showgirls. Now, and uh, uh, Elizabeth Berkeley's mispronunciation of Versace. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. All right. So yeah. So it's uh, it's 20 minutes after the hour. So go ahead and uh, smoke something. I've got this uh, little rubber bong loaded oh, up wow. over okay. here. But uh, this is lemon here diesel. Here's a. Here's a <clears throat> I actually I worked out you. this morning to get ready for this. Wow. I was doing. I, was doing, I did. Nice, I did a run Peter. to get ready for this. <laughs> Man. Damn it! I didn't do that at all. All right. All right. Cheers. Hello. I had a little workout today, too. I have to admit, it still feels, I feel like I'm getting away with something here. Yeah, right? Well, it does feel especially odd to be, like, smoking in the back of an office in Culver City. And nobody seems to mind. Yeah. People even bring their dogs to this office. That's nice. I'm like, you know, there's too much drugs here. For the dog? (laughs) Do you think dogs can get high? I, I not only think that they can, I think they do. On purpose? And, you know, there's, it's anecdotal, but most, <laughs> most of the time the animals seem, they, they seem to enjoy it. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? <laughs> I don't know. 
I, I I don't like having tobacco smoke blown in my face. I don't either. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if a dog, but you know, uh, I think the dogs also let you know how they feel about it. You know yeah. what I mean? A yeah. wagging tail tells you everything you need to know. That's true. That's true. <laughs> they're not, their tail's not going to be wagging if they're sad and unhappy yeah. and, and wish you weren't smoking. My dog wags his tail right before he attacks. He's sly. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> my, pretty dog, awesome. my dog gives me, why are you doing this again, looks when I smoke in front of it. Like, I don't blow smoke at her or anything, but she definitely gives me judgment, judgment face. I don't like it. <laughs> she knows. Yeah. I like this bowl, but I will say, you, you kind of burn your thumb a little bit. Yeah, it's a... And I'm lefty, so I don't know if that uh, makes Those little ones are uh, not ideal. I just We just happen to have one on the table because just things just end up here because people give them to me. Well, I'm going to make a list of criticisms and, of your show. Yeah, I'll just add yeah, that. If I'm you could, here with this, like, Sherlock I would like pipe. an epic list of criticisms. <laughs> now, how does this break down? You guys did, did this hugely popular thing on the internet, on yeah. YouTube, these uh, history rap battles, and then... Um, you quit for a while, or yep. how, how many times did you have you stopped and started again? Well, a little, I think a little we did bit it here and there. We did it pretty consistently from like 2009, yeah, 10, 10, yeah, until 2016. Okay, and then we stopped for two years. I had a baby and met a person to have a baby with. Right, and all of those things they all slow you down. Yeah, they really do. They really, I tried to talk them out of it. It's harder to. <laughs> <laughs> what you, you what you do for two years? Nothing. Just I was so out lonely. Lonely. Not a Just I'm waiting so for him to. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> well, so now you're back yep. and uh, doing the rounds, promoting, and yep. and what, so what? How soon can people see the latest? It's a whole season. Do you yeah. want to tell doing? Him? You tell them. This well, is we this decided is a premiere. this. Yeah. We, this we, is it. This we, is the first time you're talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. On my show. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we're gonna announce. Well, yeah. <laughs> You know what? I've got something for you guys then. All right. Hey. Yeah, I received I received a special uh, as the Ash Hole Influencer of the Year, according to our friends at Poke Bowl. But I would like you guys to have this. That's oh. a, yeah, this is great. Thank to, you. To commemorate that you made this big announcement. It's so the on first... my show. First, Ben Glebe says he might run for president on this show. Oh, good. That was a huge announcement. Wow. But what's your announcement? It's the, just as big. Our first. I think it's bigger. Our first new episode uh, is going to come out uh, in April on on the twentieth. On April twentieth, yeah. four twenty. I love it. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It's our sixth season. It's our sixth season. We haven't done a battle, a new one, in about I guess over two years. So yeah, it's been. It's been a long Can time you coming. say who is going to be battling? Uh, is that something worth revealing at this point? Are you? We gotta wait a little. Wait bit on more. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's wait a little okay. bit. You're more. always pushing. Are you? You, well, you give an inch, you, you take know, a mile. The reason, the whole reason I ever became a stoner is so I could have a pot show and then ask people questions that they would normally not answer when they're sober. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm just here to throw hardballs. <laughs> And trick you guys into saying stuff that'll get me more publicity. But <laughs> that's so cool that you've announced it here and that it yeah. is on April 20th. What, like, is there a certain time of day? Will it be like at midnight on April 20? Or how does that work? We haven't decided yet. Oh. You can help us decide. Well, yeah, put it out at 420 on on 420. Wow, that's such a, yes. That's a lot of 420. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, they're, parents, come watch yeah, the show. You've got to keep this shit easy to remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> noon, noon at 420 is easy to remember. It, what's the, what time do you start? <laughs> what time yeah, do you, no, I think 1217 <laughs> on 420. <laughs> what time no. do you start smoking on 420 the well, day? I mean, you go to bed smoking, so you're already, you know, it's if it's after midnight you're already smoking on 420 okay and you when you wake up you smoke some more i mean you smoke all day on 420 okay mm. just uh, constant all day and night yeah yeah well i mean you stop if you feel high enough and then wait a minute yeah <laughs> yeah that sounds <laughs> take, right i'll take a 10 15 minute break but it's usually because i forget you know i'll be getting high and then i'll start reading something yeah and after a I while i'm like oh i gotta remember to keep getting high 
I can't read when I'm high, not even for a second. I, really? I can't even do it. Yeah, I repeat the same not page over and over again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can read a tweet. Maybe a yeah. tweet. Maybe that's why Twitter works for I high people. I think that's why, yeah. I think like, that's why. Because all there's such amazing short stories. You know what bothers me as a stoner <laughs> is this, all these goddamn threads all of a sudden. Yeah, threads? If you can't say it in 280, just yeah. fucking, yeah. you know, just put up a little thing saying, here, meet me over here. You yeah. know, let's talk about this over in some other spot. Threads? Yeah. yeah. You don't know threads? No. It's where somebody just does a bunch of tweets right in a row. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they have numbers and you click on them and you yeah. have to read the whole thing. And yeah, I don't and, understand you know, that either. You end up reading this long thing and a lot of times they're very informative. Yeah, and it's interesting, like a drop down. But yeah, but it's... Uh, That's my problem with Reddit. Too many words, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Is I there still a character Reddit. limit on Twitter? I don't use Twitter. Yeah. I don't think I like Twitter. They lifted the character <laughs> <laughs> They lifted the character limit to 280 okay. from the original 140 and then that's when people started doing threads. It's like why weren't people doing threads when uh, you when you were more limited? Cuz I think it would have At 280, I can get pretty much everything I want to say into one tweet. Yeah. 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 Unless you can tell there's a story image or something, I guess that takes more like a page and 140 was like a uh, Yeah. Bleh, bleh, bleh. That's the headline. I agree. All Jeez. of it. All those noises you made, I agree with. <laughs> this um, is pretty good weed. Yeah. Right? I'm <laughs> Which not, camera I'm should not I look at? Uh, mad at all at the lemon diesel. Jeez. Not at yeah. all. Good should job. I at, should I look at that middle camera? Sorry to repeat If you myself. want to, if you need to speak directly to the people. I just like to know who I'm looking at, damn it. I just stare <laughs> off in all directions. I don't I don't really feel like just, I just want people to be eavesdropping on a on a session, well, you know. Why you are? I don't I, I don't really huh. host when I'm smoking with people. Huh. You know, so why do I have to do it here? Huh. Yeah, true. So go ahead and throw us to commercial. <laughs> uh, and now commercial. No, no, don't go, don't go. <laughs> not real. It's not time yet. Huh. Because you've been on the show before, so we discussed your high history at that time. Mm -hmm. But we need to get into someone else's high history. Mm, okay. Yeah. high history. Um... <laughs> Uh, what did, when did you first get started? Like, how did you uh, get the, into it? At the end of high school, um, I remember smoking somewhere in Rochester, New York. And uh, I remember watching Kurt Loder on MTV. And that was the first moment I knew I was high because Kurt Loder kind of leaned out of the television. And I, and I was like, oh, wow. This is what being high is like. It's like getting closer to Kurt Loder. <laughs> Guy's intense. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a great t-shirt. Getting closer to Kurt Loder? Yeah. Yeah. Or a lyric, maybe. Sade was playing? What? That same night? Yeah, not at the same time as Kurt Loder, but I remember Sade. I was like leaning up against a car window, and like jamming out to Sade. What that was like, Sade's big song? I forget. <laughs> and also, wasn't it, um... Yeah. <laughs> wasn't it, it doesn't, doesn't there, like, a, don't you pronounce an R that's not there? Isn't it Sade or something like that? Sh I think it's it's spelled S-A-D-E, but, but you add like an Chardet. H. Yeah, I think even you add, like, R. a soft R-H. I think there's an yeah. R in there, too. Yeah. Chardet. Chardet. Yeah, David Chardet. Spade used to have a great joke. I mean, it's still his joke, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Where Tandemism. he would say, uh... Sade, why is S A D E? Why is that pronounced Sade? My name's uh, David Spade, S P A D E, and you don't pronounce it Ned. <laughs> 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 There's some jokes you just never forget. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and hopefully I did it justice. But uh, I just like, he's, he's one of the funniest to me. Um, David Spade, he's, yeah. he's been on the show a bunch. Uh, he's never done any of my shows. David. Yeah, that's how much <laughs> I. That's how much I love him. One of his best <laughs> friends, Todd Glass. He comes on here all the time. Right on. But I, you know, I just don't think uh, there's a lot of people that uh, you know I can hear about it all the time from folks. I don't even think David Spade smokes weed, but uh, if he did, I'd really hear about it all the time because people are constantly telling me to get Seth Rogen. Yeah. Hmm. And people of like that, Snoop, of course. And I'm like, wow, thank we did not think of that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a call we need to make. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying from the beginning. And also, they get pestered, too, on their social media. You know, go do Getting Dug With High. So, right. Um, we spoke with Snoop Dogg. That was pretty cool. I, I got to do that, too, as well, one time. And it's, where, where were you? Where were, we were on the set of uh, a, a show that we, yeah. this, this he, show. Yeah, he played Moses. 
<gasps> For yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was uh, similar to the raucous crowd here today. It was like anybody who ever worked on Epic Rap Battle of the History ever or knew anyone who did was like, yeah, I'm here on set, just help out, whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you need it. And it was great. He, he, he did this thing that was really interesting. He, um, he lit, he kept lighting blunts and just letting them go because he knew yeah. everyone in the room wanted to smoke. So he just like lit a blunt, passed it around, and it went around. Everybody kept Yeah, going. and he liked, he rolls them himself. He had a dude. That, yeah. He came pre-rolled with him, like, in his, like, Came with a pocket. bunch of them, but, yeah. yeah. But he had a dude backstage that was just, like, making blunts for him, I think. Yeah, yeah if he's busy, you know, but I've, yeah. I've seen him where he's, you know, like, at his own party, he'll just sit there and roll. I'm sure he knows I'm how. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not underestimating. He sits there with a little tray in his lap. It's adorable. Yeah, that is cute. <laughs> yeah, one of these things. And, what do you uh, call that? A tray? Uh, you, a tray? Like a weed tray, I guess. <laughs> yeah, weed yeah. Tray. yeah, cannabis tray. I still have the blunt that he uh, that we smoked with him, and it still reeks. And that was like five years ago, if not more. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. It was good. He's got good hands too, in terms of he can catch stuff. I know he's like a football coach or something, but we had to like throw this thing at him while he was like rapping, and he caught that shit every time, uh, perfectly. That's what I remember about Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> great hands. I don't know what I'm talking about. This. He's got great hands to hide, Jordan. <laughs> he really does have beautiful hands, though, man. I, I, the first time, like he was like in a building, he was like checking out the company or whatever. And he was around the corner, and I didn't feel comfortable going all the way in the room. I was just like peeking, and all I saw was his like hands like this, and him just like being there. It was Damn. pretty cool. You saw Snoop Dogg fingers. Yeah, I mean, we got hands like that. What are you gonna do with them? Just have them all big and no, hanging yeah, by your sides? Yeah. yeah. You, you gotta be a certain type of person to pull that off too. Like yeah. not anybody can just go. Like you gotta this. seem like kind of a. Uh, not religious, but spiritual. He yeah. felt it, man. You he, gotta feel like you're like on a better plane than everybody else. Yeah, he's yeah, it's like a pimp for he's sure. He's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys, you've done a great job so far. <laughs> Namaste and whatnot. Namaste, cool. Yeah, we'll be right back. This is hard. Hey guys, wishing you could get back to the days when you were having good sex. Back to the days when you were always ready to go. Now you can increase your performance and get extra confidence in bed with BlueChew.com. BlueChew.com brings you the first chewable with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can take them anytime, day or night. And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill. So you can be ready whenever an opportunity arises. This isn't just for guys with dysfunction. It's for any guy who wants to enhance their performance in the bedroom. Blue Chew is prescribed online and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package. No in-person doctor's visit, no waiting in the pharmacy, and best of all, no more awkwardness. Blue Chew is made in the USA, and since it ships direct, it's cheaper than a pharmacy. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code Doug. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's B-L-U-E-Chew.com, promo code Doug. Try it for free. Blue Chew, the better, cheaper, faster choice. Hey, we're back, and Alicia has joined us. She's Woo! gonna uh, welcome. <laughs> she's gonna lay some hot topics on us, hot and uh, <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I was hearing in my head. That's crazy. In my head, I was like, they should make it like the the hot pocket one. <laughs> that's great. Oh, we topics. didn't do that the last time you were on. I can't remember. If we did, I probably did the same thing. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's Epic Lloyd, and we also have Nice Peter, and so far, one of them's living up to their name. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to choose now. People are like, what? is he being more epic than the other ones being <laughs> nice? <laughs> being nice? I always want, and I keep saying uh, quiet, Peter, instead of nice. And epic and quiet time. don't like go don't, together. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, like a, I mean, they're not. Uh, it's like a yeah. powerful poem. Epic and quiet. Yeah. Right. Epic quietness. Yeah. What is quietness? Well, yeah. we learned right here on this very show that uh, they're going to break the quietness with uh, new episodes starting on 420. 420. April 20 Bam. of this year, 2019. Yeah. Beautiful. You know, people think this year sucks, but that's another no. great thing that's going to happen. It's going to be great. Yeah, there's still greatness out there. <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alicia, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to take a big rip, if you don't mind. Big I don't rip. mind in the least. Okay. The bong looks soft. Is it soft? It is it isn't. soft. I mean, so it like, is, but it isn't. It's rubbery, yeah, but, you know, it's, nice. it's hard so enough to get the job done. It's trying to smoke out of this. Oh, oh my God. God. That, that one's very weird. I get so nervous. <laughs> also, like, when it's way down here, my 
eye coordination is bad to like light it that far away from my face. Like I don't know where the depth perception is. <laughs> it's like a moving target. Too. Can I smoke it? Out is, this? It's a you can. Yeah, sure. we just don't load it up because it flops around and it'll spill out. But uh, we could put some in there. Yeah. You want you want no. sativa? Yes. Can I try? Oh, yeah. you want to try the indica? I think so. Try some Versace. What's gonna, am I gonna fall asleep? What's gonna happen? To me? I don't know, but uh, maybe I'll design something All right. after smoking some Versace. Right. Mix and match. Or if maybe you... I'll just run away like a model. <laughs> run away. Uh, runway model. Or win a bunch oh, of awards like that you. actor. Got it. Um, he's putting the indica in there. And um, yeah, it's a it's an interesting pipe to. Uh, it looks like a tentacle to use. We're all just waiting to judge you while you light it now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't be judged while I'm holding this thing, can we? Yeah. Yeah. That's it's like a true southern gentleman, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's floppy. I like it. It's got a good flop. <laughs> That's all we ask for. The guests rarely do uh, indica, so may I? Sure. May I, uh, yeah, yeah wipe it down. You, know. you want a hand? I'll, I, mean, I got This is a rare got. move. What? Wow. <laughs> indica, I'm so one. Oh yeah, so I'll smoke one. a little indica. Right. Oh yeah, it is so one of a <laughs> 2.5 show day, <laughs> but. Oh, you have, what? You're gonna do this right away again? Yeah, we this, is the, this wow. is the live one. Oh and my gosh. Just for budgetary reasons, we do we pre-tape another one, because we've, yeah, sure. we've already got the crew here, and we pay them for the day. That's smart. Smart. But when and, Canada uh, legalized, <laughs> we had four shows, because we wow. just let any Canadian come on. Wow. wow. Any Canadian at all? Just well, open door policy? It really was open door. One guy <laughs> even admitted he wasn't Canadian <laughs> after, <laughs> after he was on. Another guy didn't and smoke. And we didn't throw him out. Another <laughs> guy didn't smoke weed. It was weird. <laughs> but but <laughs> we raised a lot of money for Canada. <laughs> Congratulations, Ken. No, I love Canada. <laughs> Don't get me wrong about that. Okay, here we go. One, two. Look at that. I mean, I wish it changed I colors. Too big of a hit. Like when yeah, it warmed up, it like big. turned green or something. Wow. That's what it should do. It's a it's a pretty smooth bowl. I, I, but I do like smoking out of this. Yeah, thing. it's nice. You Not never high. clean it. Hey, do you want to know some news? Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's this woman, Molly Peckler, and back in 2012, she met her husband. And they Peckler. 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 All right, I'm taking that note. That is also a criticism I have of this show. <laughs> that name? Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, she, <laughs> they bonded over their love of cannabis, and she decided she wanted to help other people find love. Uh, and so she set up this company called Highly Devoted, and Highly Devoted is a matchmaking service for stoners. Huh. Mm -hmm. I like the idea, the name. Highly Devoted? It feels just... Yeah, it feels the opposite. It feel, yeah, I don't know. Something about it felt a little weird. Highly it's devoted. a little creepy. Yeah. yeah. It's a little... Devoted is... It should be cuter. Like, I love yeah. Apple of My High. I think that's like my favorite like, cute highs. romantic stoner Is that saying. a thing? Yeah. Is that a website um, yet? You know, I think like I saw somebody say that on Valentine's Day this year. Yeah, yeah that's really just, good. Apple like a spark, high. something like a spark, mm. a spark of love or Ooh. something like oh, that, you know? You spark my... Just, yeah. yeah. Or just, or just spark. Just spark. <laughs> just spark. Oh. Yeah. I only have highs for you. Hey! hey. Don't get up. Or are you trying to make this epic again? <laughs> We'd be great together. If they didn't get high when they decided, when they had the brainstorming session about how to name that app, if they didn't get high, they're all fired. I would like you know? to have Molly Peckler on the show. Am I allowed to say Ooh. that? I don't mean to <laughs> take over, but. I have a lot hey, of questions for you. Whoever you want well. on the show, it's fine by me. You know, if, <laughs> there's any, if you can grab any of those newsmakers out there, her ideas and bring them in for us to talk to them. Yeah. That'd be great. Mm. I would love that. Yeah, she like cool. interviews people at great length, and she sets up events where people can just mingle, or she'll match up specifically. Mm. She has classes that help you on like normal mainstream dating apps. Like she'll teach you how to Tinder better. I think Tinder's still a thing. And uh, she also has classes about incorporating cannabis into your sex life. Wowzer. Mm -hmm. I had some Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> cannabis cream for a while that I tried to incorporate into my sex life. Some Whoopi Goldberg really? cannabis cream? Really? Yeah. <laughs> isn't it more like, isn't that stuff more like just like a lotion or whatever? Yeah. Or it's not really a sex thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, you want to. You're, you're in it now, man. You're in it now. You want to get weed and sex together. Here, this is uh, the most uh, in this thing right here. 
Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that's how you can combine now. the two. I like that piece. It's it's smooth. Yeah. It's a smooth piece, man. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, there's a, it's a cream. There was a chocolate. I think there was a Whoopi Goldberg <clears throat> cho chocolate and cream. So wow. is this Whoopi Goldberg has a has a weed. She has a line of a line weed of weed medicinals. Yeah. Wow. I never would have Oiments, thought of that. creams, the like. <laughs> I don't think ointment and sex talk should ever go together. Oh, <laughs> ointment. It's just, it just kills anything. Wow. I got, another, I got another one on Valentine's Day. You can send forget me pots. Hey. Uh, yeah, okay. man. That's great. Yeah, I'm writing them I all think, down um, in, my, in, my, in my head. I think Lowell Farms does those like beautiful actual flower, flower. Oh, Have you seen those? So once in a while I like, see them Sounds on Instagram like and they're like beautiful. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I'm in. Big fan of your work, guys. Yeah. Uh, so this is, um, you know, not as fun of a story. Uh -oh. But Mothers of Murdered Sons and Daughters United is using a mobile bill billboard in Baltimore uh, with the message, Mayor Pugh, stop pot arrest, solve murders instead. And this is happening because Marilyn Mosby, who's the state attorney for Baltimore, uh, she nice. said that her office is going to stop prosecuting people and she doesn't care how much they have. She doesn't care what their past criminal record is. That's just her stance. And people did not like that Pew wasn't really taking that same position. Uh, in fact, she said that she understands what Mosby's trying to address, but that drug dealing fuels, fuels criminality and violence. Cool. Wow. Yeah. 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 There's a, all these dispensaries in states where it's legal. Are, there's so much violence happening. Hmm. The only danger is to the employees that have to carry cash around everywhere because exactly. they can't use banks. Is that why the, yeah. the crime is happening? Because it's a cash business? If it happens, they know they have so if much it cash happens, but yeah. they're also, that's the thing they have to unfortunately pay for is a lot of security. And it right. does. Like Humboldt County, I mean, has that Netflix documentary. I think yeah, I like watched a three that. Part. Murder Mountain? Creepy. I haven't seen it it's yet. Nuts. But I, it's insane. You're like, oh my God. It, it, it's on my list. Yeah, you should. It's, right. it's worth it. I, it's worth it. I think I think the security guards that I've encountered in the marijuana industry are some of the best. Of the oh. security peoples, they always seem to be nice and professional and like, Yeah. I bet you that's a kind, not a hard job, but I think you have to be good to keep that job. Because yeah. I imagine a lot of security dudes would, would prefer that job with like the attractive bud tenders and yeah. hanging out at a pot shop rather than some security job. Yeah. I tell yeah. you what though, I hope those guys don't smoke weed on the job. <laughs> I don't think that they do. would be yeah, not I don't, fun. I don't think so. Just a, just a completely blazed guy with a gun. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> I don't think they'd let him, but yeah, I, don't I don't also wouldn't shoot somebody just because I'm high. No. You... They'd have to have done something. <laughs> I don't think it would be... I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a reason. I would be afraid you wouldn't shoot Being him. I'd be like, shoot him! A... He's holding us up, shoot him! No, <laughs> let's just... talk about this. <laughs> let's, let's pass him a joint. Okay. And see what you know. See if his mind changes. <laughs> Fair. Did you guys watch the Oscars this year? No. By chance? I, I watched right. it while I was on the treadmill. So no. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a pretty focused. <laughs> I feel like that's watching. That's it. more yeah. focused than yeah. at a party or yeah, something. I think, <laughs> I think you of all people really watched the Oscars. You were watching it more than anybody. <laughs> well, was... We all talked during it and interrupt and stuff, and you were just focused on it. <laughs> Well, there was you no did, sound on. You, though, did, so. you did three hours and twenty-two minutes on the treadmill. <laughs> Dude, every damn second of that show. <clears throat> that I, would I don't be think fun. I've ever cared about the Oscars. Like I'm glad they have them, and I'm glad people do them. But I don't think I've ever been like, "Ooh, is that on?" <laughs> <laughs> well, here's like a bit of an interesting fact about the Oscars. Okay. Maybe um, there's a company called Coda Signature, and they're actually out of Colorado. Um, they decided that they were going to, in giveaway bags, put. They wanted to put their uh, cannabis items to give to all the celebrities. However, <clears throat> um, you can't ship across state lines any THC. So instead, they just gave edibles without the THC with coupons saying, hey, you can order these, but the real ones later. So I'm just saying that they are planning on personally delivering. And if they want somebody to work there part time, like I'm really happy to just bring Glenn Close some edibles. <laughs> Maybe pet her dog that she brought to the Spirit Awards. I love that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that dog did a good job. Oh, on it's that beautiful. Award show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Her dog, like when she's accepting the award, like uh, for Best Actress, her dog like ran up on stage and 
It's oh, really? a, this like yeah. adorable little white fluffy dog. At she had, show? A, she yeah. had a great so, laugh about it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's precious. Yeah. yeah. So Glenn Close won for probably the name of the dog. She did for uh, the wife. <laughs> the wife. <laughs> the wife. Right. Yeah. It's, I, she's great in it. Yeah. yeah. She's a good actress, <laughs> but also the, the lady that did win the Oscar, Olivia Coleman, mm. uh, they were up against each other. So good. She was fantastic in The Favorite. And also an actress that Glenn Close doesn't need anybody to like notice her notice good. her yeah. and continue to give her work. I mean, she's she's set. Yeah. Uh, Wait, did Glenn Close win or did the other girl win? The well, other, she won the Spirit Award that Yeah, night. they did oh, the Glenn two Close. awards with this, Close, back but... this weekend. Uh, I know. Mm -hmm. I know when you pay it, when you only watch them on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hard to keep them track keep track of them, but. Uh, yeah, so, you know, Glenn Close won every award up to the Oscars, so everyone thought she was going to win the Oscar. Then she lost to Olivia Colman. They're both great actresses. They're both going to be fine. But Glenn Close officially is the person who's been nominated for the most Oscars without ever winning I know, one. that's right. Has never won one. Never, never won. won. Seven times. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's man. Come on. How does the Oscars work? Is it like a is it like a big vote? <laughs> yeah, it's a vote. It's a vote amongst people that are members of the Academy, which are generally just people who work in the film industry and one yeah. of the departments. You know, that's why there's so many categories. Is all those different departments have uh, sections of the? Do you academy. vote in the Oscars? I don't know. I vote in the Independent Spirit Awards, though. That's fun. Yeah. Did you vote for Glenn Close? That's, that's fun. I think, close one I, one you one know what? It's a dog. private vote. I don't have to tell you. You know, I get to do it under anonymity. I get anonymity. But it, uh, how are we doing on time? Do we have time for another uh, I think hot so. topic? Hot topic. Hot topic. Let's do it. it. Seems like it. Yeah. Let's go. CB2 <laughs> Insights just released a report, and it has shown that now more people are getting medical marijuana for mood-based conditions than they are anything physical. 34.77% uh, were for mood and 33.05% were for pain conditions. So what does that tell us? People tells are us sad. Too many people, <laughs> plus also too many people are on painkillers that aren't weed. Yeah. So that's why that's they're not turning too. to weed because they're already on something that works but it's a fucking right. pill that they're addicted to. Right. Some people probably like just stopped ha like could stop lying about their knee and start being like it's really because I feel bad and my right. knee was just some bullshit that I had to say mm -hmm. to make people understand yeah. it more. I for years got my medical card with stuff, the, you know, all this stuff and uh, the, that was just, you know, it's yeah, just yeah, my leg. It's whatever. not it, it's not nonsense because you know you, you you know you can name other problems that you have and sure. the fact that you're high those problems also you, you feel better about them as well. Mm -hmm. But you, you know you just can't say to the doctor I, I need it because I want life to be fun. <laughs> one over fifteen percent of people of just needed on. help sleeping. Yeah, and yeah. sleep sleep's a big one. But as it you know as the years got got on, I started saying anxiousness and sleep be, being able to sleep. And that started to, you know, started to fly, you mm. know, but at first you had to be like, yeah, my back hurts. Yeah. And it does. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, you know, I'm never like, oh shit, I threw my back yeah. out. I'm, if I smoke right. a joint, yeah. I'm gonna, it's going to go away. Right. And I'm still not going to be able to walk. Right. <laughs> now you can not, say Not unreasonable like, about it, but I still yeah. will, I do want to get high while I'm not <laughs> able to walk. And I want comedians in cars getting coffee to be as good as it is. Yeah. And, what is well, worth noting, though, is that uh, there's 30 states now that have medical marijuana legalized. But 30. 30, but only 24 of those have any mood disorder that qualifies you for getting it. So there's six places where you have to be in pain to get weed? Yeah. What are those? Oh, I'm guessing you don't <laughs> know. I, I, no, I don't have that list in front of me. Break it down. Deeper. Break it down. Gosh, th there's 30 states that have it on. Wow, that's mm -hmm. crazy. That's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Wow. It's getting there. Yeah. yeah. A lot of them are, you know, it's very limited. Who's who's going to be the last, you think? The last the last state Ooh. to topple. I mean, Utah's mm -hmm. already already did it, and I oh, thought yeah. that they would be one of the last. So. I Utah's think it's probably cool. somebody in the south, like we're conservative south, I would think, right? I guess so. You know, people, uh, you know. I just got serious. Sorry. Friends <laughs> of, <laughs> people I know that live in Texas just f uh, are fear oh, that it, they'll be last. That really? It'll, it'll That's forever. possible. Yeah, Texas so, is Because it's so big. There's so yeah, many people. Big, so and, you know, the big cities are all great down there. But, you know, people that are in the big city, they 
think weed's bad for some reason. Mm. All right, we got to uh, go to a break. Thank you, hey, Alicia. Me on uh, Twitter. That's my only plug. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, and we'll see you uh, later today in the mm-hmm. uh, pre tape show. Mm-hmm. And we'll be right back with uh, Taylor Rizzo and Dabs. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Have you heard about our new show, Doing Doug with Dabs? It's me, Alicia, and Taylor hanging out and doing dabs after tapings of some of the regular shows. Sometimes we'll invite a guest, sometimes it'll just be us. The show drops a couple times a month and is exclusive to members of our 420 Club on Patreon. Want to unwind with us after getting Doug with High? Head over to patreon.com slash getting Doug and sign up today. It supports this show and in return we'll send you a signed blue card, read your name during one of the shows, and you'll get early access to our pre-taped episodes. Pretty great. Check out patreon.com slash getting Doug to join today. That floppy one's all right. Oh, hey, we're back. (laughs) (laughs) Talking about the floppy pipe. Everybody loves it. It's a hit. It's a hit (laughs) with the uh, epic rap battles of history crew. I guess I have to hit the pipe now. Okay. But but it does have that indica in it still. If you want to swap it out for some sativa, I wouldn't yell at you. I'm cool for a little one. Hey, uh, Taylor Rizzo's here. He's the dab king. Here I am. And he's going to dab us out if you guys are into that sort of thing. Uh, tell me more about it, just a little bit. I don't really <laughs> understand it. It's uh, just like a more powerful, uh, you know, like a bong rip times six, I'd say. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a concentrated <laughs> THC. Okay. They just pull the, the chemical out you of the You can watch plant. us do it. Yeah, I'll watch. See how our demeanor doesn't change at all. But that's because Taylor lives on this stuff. He does it all the time. I do. And no water I'm, or food. Uh, this is what I live on. I'm mm-hmm. getting better and better at it, but it's still, you know, I'm worthless for the rest of Tuesday uh, whenever we do these. Oh. Uh, but by worthless, I mean I still, you know, I still do other jobs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I am fucked up. Well, well, the floppy's nice, I will say that. Yeah, the floppy's <laughs> nice. I snuck a hit in there, right, you guys? All right, we got another right. pro, another thumbs up for the floppy floppy pipe. I'll try to introduce it into the, uh, you know, General rotation. proceedings more often. Because oh. it usually just sits there, all flopped on its side. Mm. <laughs> uh, Can very I this very one? unloved. Yeah. What's this one? This one's like a uh, kind of a magical genie pipe, I'd say, kind of a wooden... Yeah, man. It's kind like a of, lab uh, in there or something. You know, and then we've got this, uh, we got a gavel, of course. It's a tribute to the show I did, The High Court. And it's a, it's what you can smoke out of that, too. Um, I'm gonna trying try to get guy. a gun we can smoke out of. <laughs> <It's> a real <laughs> gun. <laughs> <laughs> just out of the side. Of it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, before I do a dab, because this involves a lot of reading, I just want to mention that the Vegas Cannabis Awards have uh, they nominated <clears throat> me for an award. Uh, hey. The Cannabis King of Comedy is the award. Yeah, I'd vote nice. for you on that for well, sure. Yeah. You, thank is there you. even anyone thank else? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Who's in the running? Yeah. But they got some heavy hitters, you guys. They got Rob <laughs> Jeremy's in the category. Ah, really? They got, yeah, I don't know what that's okay. about. They got Carrot Top. Is in there. Oh my God. I never, top, never really? knew he smoked even. Me neither. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Seth Rogen. Okay. Of That's course. Fair. Yeah, he's a big one. Sure. And then, you know, it just gets ridiculous because then they, you know, then you go to your uh, Cheech and Chong and, oh, uh, you know, I mean. <coughs> I got your back I, up. I, I, you know, I like that uh, people, uh, you know, enjoy my cannabis con- comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Cannabis Connor. But anyway, so I want to, but I want to win this thing anyway, just because yeah, those guys yeah. don't care. So uh, that, I think that's why you should win. Yeah. So go to LasVegasCannabisAwards.com/slash/votes/slash, and uh, you got to scroll down to find my category. Vote for other things too. I mean, you know, uh, there's probably a lot of things there to support. In fact, in the uh, Queen of Cannabis Comedy, our friend Rachel Wolfson is nominated. Oh, nice. Along with Sarah Silverman mm. and Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, what? I didn't know she was a stone I didn't know she was a stone I can't remember who the fourth woman was. I don't know. I, I can't Damn, for, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll say later. Mm. But Or actually, uh, I bet you Daniel could look it up. That's all good for right now. Yeah, okay. But oh, is Sarah, Whoopi, Rachel, Wolfson, and who's another it's lady comic be. that's super pro pot? Um, I don't even know. It's I mean, I would never Goldberg. guess Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, really? really? I mean, now uh, that you say that, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense, Shelby but like. Chong. Oh, Shelby Chong, of course. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Tommy Chong's wife. Oh. 
Well, oh. <laughs> so they would be the reigning king yeah. and queen of speaking mm -hmm. of the wife, right? Yeah, I wonder if that the wife is based on Tom and Shelby Chong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, that Shelby Chong's been writing all of Tommy Chong's material all these years and, yeah. and never, never takes any credit for it. <laughs> that's, what the wife is, that's what the wife is about. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> all right. Uh, I got to name some Patreon names. Oh, this will be fun. I'll do a, 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 a hit and, and then name all the names. Oh, yeah. Nice. To show you how I could still, I'm still as inarticulate as I was before I took the hit. Dude, I'm enamored by these dabs. I'm sorry I'm not going to jump into this right you now. You don't but, have uh, to, man. It's watching. it's a lot to... It's uh, no pressure. We don't want to pressure you guys. Does, it, does green mean go on yep. this? Wow. Red means it's warming up, green means go. And wow! Then it'll go back to the purple. You can grab the rubber piece on the outside if you want, if it's easier. Oh, yeah, this rig by Yeah, you got to warn people is... about that, because that's a, like, you could cut yourself on yeah. that. We well, you can leave it on. You don't have to take it off I know, but still, just it's still like a yeah. broken off, the stem thing that used to be here. Uh, uh, broke snapped off, off But we should put, like, tape on it. Just sharpen it. Or just, yeah, just take, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. take the whole thing. <laughs> Add, like, a little sword. Put some poison mm -hmm. I like being able to go, <laughs> you know, because yeah, I feel like I'm playing a trumpet. Why the strong, like, why the stronger the drug of any kind, like, the more intimidating the glass pipe? Oh my right. god. But you should see the you know, this this is like really pleasant compared to how a lot of people do dance. Yeah, this right. is yeah. Yeah. Times, a lot of times there's like, a yeah. fucking yeah. torch. There's yeah. a torch and it's gotta be yeah. plugged in oh, and there's yeah. all this stuff going on. I feel yeah, like this that's... is basically just a big vaporizer. Yeah. Just Someone a base just end. Drop some hash on like a soldering iron and then it was like, ah <laughs> oh, Shannon, we gotta do this. That's something they used to do hot knife dabs <laughs> on with hash. Oh, you would yeah. heat up one knife yeah, and yeah, yeah, put yeah. the hash on there and then put it on another knife. Crazy. Just looks this like, is so much nicer. Like pirates <laughs> doing that. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Thank drugs you. used. To, we used to be shady and like For sticky sure. and dirty. Yeah. And, a little bit gross. Yeah. Thank you to all these uh, 420 Club members. Go ask Alice, Sarah, Nini. Thank you, Nini. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Ramos, uh, Christian James, Jennifer Alward, the creative intuitive marketing coach. Whoever that is. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a gig. Yeah. And. Uh, David Richards, Williamson, just somebody, Will I Am Sen. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, That's Will I Am, man. No. It's just, it's just, like one, it's just one word, though, Williamson. Ah. And uh, Olivia Collins. Yeah, thanks to all of you. We're trying to read everybody's name, all the people who have signed up since we started doing it. That's nice. It's awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, af after this show, we do an all dabs show. Or after the next show, I mean, we do another yeah. show that's a pre-tape for next week, and all then dabs? after that we do an all dab show, and, just to wind uh, down. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. just to really uh, the final. What time do you go to bed at night, Doug? Uh, it varies. Like sometimes. Is that too personal? Around... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just overstep? Yeah, on maybe you should write that down so. next time. <laughs> yeah, right. I go to bed early as fuck if there's if I don't have something to do that night. But a lot of nights I have to do a show or something. Yeah. So then, you know, just whenever, a little while after it's over. I'm not much of an after partier because, <laughs> because I get high and drunk for and during my shows. Yeah. So <laughs> there's no, no real reason to keep the party going that is the when party. the crowd is gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mostly don't drink alone. That's why I'm glad I, I, I have drink a girlfriend alone. that's with me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I can drink a lot. I only drink alone when I'm by myself. That's it. It's sound logic. Yeah. Can we do a marijuana know something? Do we have time? Because yeah. these guys aren't going to do dabs. I don't I'll blame do them. I don't blame them. Dab, dab, yeah. dab. But put your thinking cap on while you do this dab. <laughs> that uh, sounds like a rap lyric. <laughs> <laughs> In 2013, what holiday did Disney try to trademark? 2013? Yeah, like a mere six years ago, Disney was like, we should own that. Or we should get the rights to that. Is that what trademarking means? Huh. They would just, yeah. they would like own the word? Y yeah, it would be attributed to them. I don't know. I want to yes. say. What'd they go what for? Do they fucking try to get Halloween? Yeah, that's what <laughs> it feels like. Really? <laughs> it feels like it. It's ours! Uh, that, that's there's right no there. way. That's too, that's too bold. Candy We've had a haunted mansion since the 60s. We're, we're, nobody's right. more Halloween than us. Uh, it might be it. It's that, the obvious choice that, that doesn't... Valentine's Day? No. It can't be any that are religious. No. Or right? based on saints. Christmas. Or based on dead people. 
politicians, like presidents. Day, one of the weird ones. I, what, why would they want to get the trademark for that? Yeah. What, what about the, New Year's Eve? Where's the money in there? Oh God, I have no idea. I, it's, it's really Halloween, baffling. Man. It makes me feel like it's going to be like a... Not a real holiday. Not yeah, like a, that's like why not like a holiday that's where you take the day off. Like it's gonna be yeah. some weird holiday that's newer. Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> <laughs> what about Black Friday? It's maybe it's like or like just the day out, this, the biggest shopping day of the year, or whatever. No way. That mm. might. Is that officially? It's got to be holiday, something yeah. like that. That's yeah. not really like yeah. a holiday. It's, it's just not clean by a day that yet. we all recognize. I love this question. So. I really do. Because there could be multiple correct answers. This is only what they want. I you mean, know. I just, no matter what, the answer is going to make me punch something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me switch places with you real quick, buddy. <laughs> He's got <laughs> long arms. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Does anybody have something they really I, I think, it's, think I, is I, the I'm answer? I'm just going to guess Arbor Day because I think I'm going to be closest. It's going to be some weird, like, that's not even a real thing. I have no right. idea. Columbus no Day. way it's Halloween. Columbus. No fucking way I'm going it's Halloween. Halloween. I agree. I, I'm going Halloween. I can't even. No way. I can't even venture against. I'm gonna. Yeah. Maybe like, is there a Pride Week that they could try to steal? <laughs> hmm. They used to have a gay day that they would celebrate. Hmm. Uh, at the park. At Disney, yeah. Wow, that's cool. An An animal no based, a mouse based day. Are there that's, mouse days? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess that's if we're talk, if we're saying gay holidays, we're back to Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. The answer is. Dia de los Muertos. Uh, Whoa! Oh, that's Day even shadier. They, they, they took another, the, the, and they the, wanted to get it for so because of Coco. Coco, I guess. Yeah. Oh my God! Because of Coco? Why? See, Coco? I told you I'd want to punch the movie. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. even worse. It's not even a, like an uh, American holiday. That sucks. <laughs> They're just like, hey, Peru, we're gonna yeah. steal your day, yeah. or <laughs> these guys won't mind. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, our next show is gonna be March fifth at two twelve fifteen p.m. You gotta check out the epic rap battle, rap battles of history, uh, YouTube. It's been a two-year hiatus, but April twentieth, this was announced right here. That's when they are coming back. Thank you guys for being here. You're yeah, man. Thanks Thank for you, Taylor. Us. Thank you, Alicia. Yeah. And uh, how much more time? Twenty seconds. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, right. I saw yeah, the 30 yeah. second sign. I really, uh, it was, <laughs> that was much more efficient than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And um, we're going to do Freddy Krueger. Uh -oh. That's that's in the first episode. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome.